Hi everyone, it's Karis. Today I thought I'd talk about my favourite books that I read during my English degree. So if you didn't know, I recently graduated with a 2-1 in English from the University of Exeter. There were some books that I really enjoyed during my time at university and I thought I would share five of my favourite ones that I studied with you now. Now I'm only going to be talking about books that I read for the first time specifically for my course, not ones I'd already read before. So for example, for my witchcraft module in third year, which was one of my favourite modules, we got to read The Crucible, we got to read Harry Potter, we got to read The Witches by Roald Dahl. So yeah, just take it as a given that like Harry Potter is obviously like my favourite thing that I did at uni. All of these I either gave a four or a five star rating on Goodreads and I think they're literally the only five I actually gave this rating to. So the first one is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood which is one that's obviously getting a lot of hype at the moment because of the TV show and I haven't watched that yet but I think I would really like to. I think I'm gonna probably watch it more like to the end of the year. I read this right back in first year of the university for a module that was called Reinventions and I think we talked a lot, well obviously we talked a lot about feminism and I remember me and my friend Amy did a presentation on this book. I would definitely recommend reading this especially if you've watched the TV show and enjoyed that which I know a lot of people have then definitely give this a go. There's a lot to talk about with this book and I think it's a really important one to read and sort of scary when you think about some of the things that happen in this book Book and then sort of think about society and sort of realise that it's not even that much of like a stretch of the imagination to imagine some of the things happening. I should have mentioned that these are in order from like the least favourite of the five to my favourite of the five but the next one is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. This is another one that I read in first year and this one was for the same module which was titled Reinventions. It's actually probably the module that I enjoyed the reading side of the most, not like the content because the witchcraft and the children's literature module Jules, I really enjoyed the content of them but in terms of reading Reinventions was up there it was quite good. Jane Eyre was one of the very first books that I read when I started my booktube channel actually because I remember talking about this in my first ever video I think it was what I was currently reading back then. I feel like I'm in the minority though of people who actually enjoyed the first part of the story more. Didn't really care about Mr Rochester all that much to be honest and like the classic ending of this book but I really was intrigued by the beginning bit when she was like in a boarding school. I think that's because I just look out for that sort of buzzword anyway. I'm always really intrigued by that use of setting and like to read books that take place in boarding schools so I definitely preferred the earlier bit which I guess does read like a really old YA. Maybe that's why I liked it so much. In at number three is A Girl is a Half Form Thing by Eamon McBride. I read this one in second year for a module which was called From Modernism to Contemporary. This was the final book that we read for that and obviously the more contemporary side of things as opposed to modernism. Despite being quite short it was quite difficult to get through both in terms of content because there's scenes of sexual assault in this and a lot of other very intense very raw topics that are dealt with and also in terms of the form because it's basically written I don't really know how to describe it I'm sure there's a word that I probably learned at university and have forgotten it's written as like thoughts at first that's really difficult to get into because I was really confused by what was going on after a few chapters I really got into it I really got into that mindset it was quite surprising how you could really connect to the way that it was written and how even by using such a unique format the author could really get across these really intense feelings and emotions to the reader it was sad and I can't say I loved the story but the experience of reading it I was really moved by it and it really kept me gripped so I would really recommend this as something different if you haven't picked it up before my second favorite thing that I ever had to read for university was Ariel by Sylvia Plath which I read for the same module as a girl is a half form thing this one we studied just a few weeks before that I believe so again more towards the contemporary end of things. This is a poetry collection and I thought I was going to like it because The Bell Jar is one of my favourite books of all time and I absolutely loved this. There was only two books at uni that I gave five stars to and this was the first one of them. I just really admire her writing style. She's definitely one of my favourite authors and I'd like to get around to reading all of her poems at some point. In terms of studying I think there was just so much depth and analysis that you could really get out of these poems and I actually wrote I think my best ever essay or one of my best ever essays on two poems in this alongside another text and the two that I used were cut. I definitely used cut and I think the other one was tulips because that's the other one that I've highlighted and I just really got into that essay even though they're quite short poems I found so much to say about them so both in terms of study and also just as something to read in general I would definitely recommend 
Ariel and also The Bell Jar if you haven't read that either. And finally, my favourite book that I read during my time at university was Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier and I just loved this. This again was for the reinventions module so that module came up quite strong. There's only two modules that are featured in this video which says a lot about my other modules to be honest because some of them I just did not like the books that we had to do for them. Rebecca we talked about a lot in comparison to Jane Eyre because I guess this was seen as sort of like the reinvention of Jane Eyre in terms of the module and I just loved this. It was so atmospheric, so gripping. I'd never read any Daphne du Maurier before this one but I've read Jamaica Inn since then and loved that one as well. I also went to see a stage adaptation of this which I equally loved and it's really not difficult to read. It's a modern classic, but even that use of the word like classic really put me off it and I did put off reading it for quite a long time because I thought it was going to be dense and just difficult to get through, but it was really not. Despite it being written that little bit longer ago, I found it still really easy to read and for a book of its size, it was really fast paced because once you got into the story, I personally anyway was just really gripped and just wanted to know what happened and the ending is really good and yeah, if you haven't read Rebecca or any other Daphne du Maurier book, as I said with all of these, I would definitely recommend it. I would recommend all of these things to be honest because, as I said, there's not really been that many texts at university that I've really enjoyed. So any that I gave five stars to, I must have like really loved it to give it that rating. So these are my five favourite books that I read for university and all of the books that I'm going to be talking about today. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these, what you thought about them. I'm also planning on doing a book titled The Worst Books That I Read For University because there are some absolute shockers that I absolutely hated and there'll definitely be more than five in that video I'm thinking maybe the ten worst ones because I must have given at least ten books a one star rating from uni so definitely look out for that video coming sometime soon hopefully but other than that that is it for today's video thank you all so much for watching I hope you all have a great day and I will see you again next time bye